Hi, and welcome to the self-service tutorial on how to log in and register for courses. To save your time and energy, consider heading to login.georgian.edu to set up your login information for not just self-service, but for your email and your Blackboard accounts too. Okta is a one-stop central access hub that manages your passwords for you. It is super helpful when it comes to manually getting back into your accounts if you've forgotten your password. Head to login.georgian.edu to get started. Your Okta username is the same username as your email, Blackboard, and self-service username, the first letter of your first name, the first letter of your last name, and the last five digits of your ID number. Your default password that you will use to sign into Okta for the first time is the first letter of your first name, the first letter of your last name, your birth date using two digits for the month, two for the date, and two for the year, and the letters GCU. Once you've signed into Okta for the first time, you can change your password to something you'll remember. On the Okta homepage, you can see all of the applications you will use as a GCU student. And since you've already logged into Okta, you don't have to log into anything else. First, go to settings in the upper right corner and change your password to something only you know. This now becomes your password for everything, but in six months, you will be asked to create a new password. When this happens, you will have to update your other devices and applications with your new password the first time you go to log in on them. For instance, if you change your password at home on your computer, then come onto campus and can't get access to your email on your phone, you need to update your new password on GCU's secure Wi-Fi network, as well as on any of the other devices or applications you go to use, like your email, Blackboard, or self-service. Next and most importantly, set up your password recovery options. First, choose a forgotten password question, which is the key to being able to reset your password. I recommend creating your own custom security question with a one word answer. For instance, if you choose one of Okta security questions like what is your favorite piece of art or where were you on New Year's Eve in the year 2000, you might be stumped on what answer you put down. After several tries, the system will lock you out and you'll have to wait 15 minutes to be able to try again. Instead, choose a question with an unchanging and simple answer like what is your brother's middle name or what was the name of your first pet. Next, set up the forgotten password text message option. Lastly, you can also choose your own security image for added assurance. Now let's go back to the Okta home screen and go to self-service to register for courses. You can also pay your bill, print your unofficial transcript, apply for graduation, apply for your parking tags, and much more in self-service. The first time you go to self-service, you will be asked to verify your account. Type your system ID number in, which is the entire numeric portion of your student ID number. Then your first name, your last name, and your date of birth using two digits for the month, two for the day, and four for the year. Then provide self-service with a security question and answer. Use the same password you just used to log in to Okta. Select a security question, type in your answer, and click Save. For all self-service login and password help, contact the university's IT department at helpdesk at georgian.edu or by calling 732-987-2222. After that, you'll be brought to the self-service homepage. To register for courses, head to the Register tab and click on Traditional Courses. You will see a list of the periods that are live and open to search through and register for courses in. The status needs to say OK to register, along with a green open book on the left, in order for you to enter. Prior to registration, you will need to meet with your academic advisor to have them sign off on the courses you wish to take. Once you have met with them, they will authorize you to register. If there is a red closed book and the status saying advisor authorization needed to register, it means you have not yet met with your advisor or your advisor has not authorized you. Please contact your advisor for assistance. 
click on the desired time period and begin to search for your courses. Click on Section Search to begin adding courses to your cart. You can search using a keyword or the actual course code. Again, you will choose the traditional registration type. The period drop-down menu allows you to specify what year and semester. The session gives you even more specificity by allowing you to choose between various sessions like Summer 1 or Summer 2, 7.5 Week 1 or 7.5 Week 2. Click on the Advanced Search tab to view courses within your major or courses that start or end at a particular time of day or to only look for courses that meet general education requirements. Your search will supply you with options to choose from. Click the Add button to add a course to your cart. Sometimes you may need to request permission before you can register for a course, so it is here that you would do that. It might be for team sports, internship courses, service learning courses, specific education courses, chart the course courses, new seminary courses, and others as well. Send your request and once you get permission via email, you have to come back into self-service and complete the registration process for the course. When all the courses you need are in your cart, it will look like this. Click register and then go through verification prompts by hitting next. Verification prompts will make sure you have no time conflicts and you have met the prerequisites for your classes. For instance, you may encounter error messages at this point due to any number of blocks. Don't be alarmed, they can all be fixed and chances are a form can be filled out to work around the block. Reach out to your advisor or to me, Grace Hirschplond, in the office of the registrar to find out what you need to do. When blocks are taken care of and your schedule is finalized, you'll get to this screen and your registration is complete. Please reach out to me in the Office of the Registrar for any registration help or self-service questions. Congrats and have a great semester!